Welcome to the video from the digitallifestyle.com, a new Windows 10 build to look at. This is 18912 for Windows Insiders on the Fast Ring. Another build uh, for 20H1. Um, we've had a, a week since the last build, and again, there's not a huge amount of changes to this build. Uh, Microsoft have mainly added some features, a feature to the narrator app, not one I use, but I know for some people it's pretty important. Uh, they've added it so that, um, I'm going to turn that off because it's going to interfere with my recording, but they've added it so that it reads the full uh, headline, uh, full page topics out, uh, full page descriptions out when you go on the, through the click me links. So as you're navigating through a web page, it reads out the description of the page you're going to. Uh, rather than just a link, which is a good idea. But that's the, the only really major change with this build. The rest are all uh, minor fixes and um, a few known issues. So let me go through the, the, the fixes. They fixed an issue with uh, green screens in the last build, which were causing an error with Win32K assist files. Um, I didn't see that myself, but I know a few people did. They fixed some issues with high w, uh, WM... Uh, hitting high WN crash from the last two flights where the um, screen was going black and then not redrawing properly. They fixed an issue with focus assist that was not enabling in full screen. They fixed an issue with remote desktop connections with VM where the taskbar wasn't visible. That's once been around for a while actually. And they fixed a text to speech issue as well. Um, an ease of access issue. Fixed an issue where double clicking the update icon that would be here in the taskbar would crash settings um, and there's some language issues have been fixed as well. There's still a couple of known issues. The known issues are actually carried over from last one where it says for Windows Home editions some devices might not see the update installed on the update history page and also they might not show the download progress. And This is Windows uh, 10 Pro anyway so I'm not going to see that but that's the kind of thing you would not see you see that on there. Um, obviously the anti-cheat software issue is still there. If you've got an older version of the anti-cheat software, um, you won't get this build. The new versions do. Realtek SD card readers still don't work. Um, there's some issue in dragging it within emoji panel and lag. I don't really use that very often. Uh, they've added one issue since they initially announced in the build. They said some users issued uh, an error code while downloading the speed due to high RAM consumption. It works slowly through the download process. This makes it take much longer than usual. Uh, we have a fix for it in the future build. I didn't see that, but I did see that in the previous build. So um, the Windows update part of it was was going up here. I saw it like 3 gig, 4 gig, 5 gig. Um, I've seen that before... Last year, I think it was, with it with, or so in 19H1. Anyway, they're going to fix that. So those are now issues, and those are the changes. I do like to document all these builds, which is why I'm doing this one, despite there not being that many changes. So you can go back on a YouTube channel, and you can actually see all the build from Windows 10, right back to the preview versions. So I like documenting these things. So you can subscribe to our videos if you like them. You can catch me on Twitter at iStixon and on the digitallifestyle.com.